Hey, welcome back YouTube. I know I haven't made a video in a minute, but I have you guys here today. Today, we're gonna just hang out, man. And uh, we're in Waukegan. I have a lot of things I have to do. I'm just getting off of work. Have some updates about my job, but I'm just getting off work. Starting off, we have to go to my mom's house, write this check for her life insurance policy, then go to the junkyard before they close, pick up some tires for this car, and pick up some tires for my truck, and pick up some tires for my girlfriend's car. And I don't think that's all gonna fit in this Honda Civic, but we're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna get whatever we can get, the best quality that we can get at the best price we can get. Also, we have to go to Huntington Bank because TCF just got bought out by Huntington Bank and I need checks to write her life insurance policy payments via check. So let's go, let's get it. All right guys, so stopped by my mom's house. My plates came in the mail, I would show you just take my word. My plates came in the mail. Uh, my tie rods for my truck came in the mail too. So I'm pretty excited about this Rock Auto order because the, oh shit, these are tie rods for my pickup truck. My outer tie rods. Now the story goes, every time I buy tie rods from um, Amazon, they keep giving me these uh, I think like Silverado 1500 tie rods and they don't fit. So this is what I have in the mail guys. Hopefully these are the proper outer tie rods. And so far they look about right, man. They look about right. But they're they're not greasable. So Lord knows how long they're gonna last. So that is her. Yeah, it looks about the same size as the other one. But hopefully this one fits. I'll keep you guys updated. And um, I picked up my mom's life insurance paper. So I'm gonna do that. And we, we're gonna go to the bank too to ask for some more checks. So let's head out. All right guys, so I uh, just came out of the bank and the lady just notified me that I can keep writing my checks via TCF and um, they're gonna just keep processing it through even though the routing number and account number is different with my new Huntington Bank stuff. So I'm gonna take her word and just keep writing these checks with these Huntington with my TCF checks. But this check, I'm gonna actually write it from my business. My business is gonna pay for my mom's health care, death plan, this month uh, I'm doing that so I can keep my account steady because I'm really trying to refinance one of my buildings so got to keep that account steady so let's go to the next place which is the junkyard we're going to just pick up some tires we need a lot of tires and I don't think I have enough space but we're gonna figure something out let's go I bought jumper cables for like two dollars tire for twenty dollars The Delta. Yeah. Come on. The 20. Oh, oh no, the Honda? No, no, no. The no. tire's 20. No. Yeah, good deal. <laughs> good guy. But no, so I got that uh got the tires guys. Uh that's cool. Let me think. Got the tire. Uh I have a tie rod for my Honda Civic 2. Uh, I really want to swap this one out, man. But it's raining, so I'm going to let that be for a different day. Uh, yeah, man, just got everything ready to go. And it's just, it's raining, so. We are in Waukegan off Washington Street by the little uh, Waukegan High School. I have the $20 tire in the trunk. So the $20 tire is in the trunk. We are here about to get the tire mounted and balanced for $15. So all in all, it's gonna be like a $35 situation. So let's get this done. All right, so this is the tire right here. And this is what we're replacing. 
so you can't really tell, but it's a lot of dry rot, so I'm pretty happy to get this one out of here, get the new one on, so. Yeah, man, so we're just here trying to get this done real quick. Just got the car out of the shop, had the tire installed, charged me $15. I tipped them five on top of that, so 20 plus 20. A used tire stalled and balanced for $40. It's not too bad if you ask me. So I just took this car to the Amsteads to give it a little test drive at highway speeds. And what I noticed is the steering wheel shake is a little bit better, but it's now, it's now introduced a little bit early at 60 miles an hour. And it's, 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 it's really subtle, like it's really subtle. It's, it's becoming much more manageable. Every tire, every old tire I take off of this car, the steering wheel shake becomes a little bit better. Now, I, I have one more thing that I noticed. Yesterday I jacked the car up and I just inspected some of the steering and the left tie rod has a little play. So when I go to my dad's house today, if the raining doesn't persist as bad as it is, you know, I'm gonna swap it out really quickly. Uh, then we're gonna take it back on the highway, see what she's like, and I'm just gonna keep you guys updated. So we're getting a lot done today, man. All right, YouTube. So I just, God, that's not good. All right, so really quickly, just throw it on the floor. Forget it. I uh, put the old tire in the back. The new tire is sitting on the side. This is the tire rod in question. So I'm gonna make sure I can take this off first. And then we're going to swap this out and see, essentially, with the old tires in the back, it should have the least amount of correlation to how much shake I have based off having bad tires. Getting the weakest units out of the steering should take some of that vibration out too. So I'm going to just keep moving quickly before it gets dark and bring you guys back. All right, man, so we're out here. It's raining, but so you guys can see, this is my tie rod. Well, this is the old tie rod. Um, it's no good. Took it out, put the new one in from AutoZone. The, also, the, the inner tie rod on this car needs to be replaced too. Um, let me see. Um, oh yeah, every time I fix one thing, every time I fix two things, I break one thing. So, this lug nut came off. So maybe new hub bearings or maybe just one new lug. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This car is always something new, I don't know. But for what I paid for this car, man, I'm just keeping it alive. I'm trying to get it ready for this road. And um, let's hop in this car real quick, it's raining. All right, man. So, this is what I'm thinking, guys. We're gonna take the car around the block, see how she's looking, and uh, take it on the highway, see how she's she's staring, see if she's still, you know, going a little crazy. And I'm gonna just keep you guys updated on everything, so. All right, guys, so I made it back to my destination, and, uh, uh, oh, man, I'm highly disappointed, guys, so. I put the old tire that used to be up front. Let me see if I can explain this. When I first bought this car, I had rotated, I had rotated the tires and it made the steering feel a lot better, right? So that being said, I had put a new tire on the bad rim in the back. So today, I put that new tire bad rim on the front, good rim bad tire on the back, and I'm starting to feel the same vibrations I had when I first bought the car. So that now leads me to realize that the tire on the front is new and good, but the rim is bent. For the back, the tire is bad, but the rim is good. So I know that's highly confusing, but I'm gonna swap those rims again, take it on another test drive a later day when it's not raining, see what that does. But man, listen, every day with these used cars is just another journey to figure out what's going on with it. So that being said, man, just hit that like button, comment something down below, maybe over there, and just keep staying positive until next time. Peace.